Yeah, all right, so it's our day off. Is he doing some, just redoing and taking line off and some top shots? Uh, I'm going to show you a different way of doing a bimini. Hopefully you can see this. Doing your, your obligatory 25. Drag tight. Now everybody does half inches. I pinch it like this. Hold it in my hand. I do six wraps around both. That's actually seven, that's fine. It's a little tight. And then I go through where my finger is. Go through behind where my finger is, through there. And then underneath, you'll wind over the loop and then pull that up. Keeping, holding onto the, onto the uh, spirals that you've done. And then I back wrap it. slack there until it's all tight and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab it in my teeth tag into my teeth to put it up tight like so so that's semi tight and then I'm going to grab a pair of pliers so there it's like that so it's all wrapped neatly and then I pull it up with a pliers you can see there's no half reach at all in there and What's happened there, you'll see how neat that is now because there's no half edge and this line which was in between the two lines now has been has been clamped by the by your your wines. And what I do is I cut it off about a half a centimeter from the end from the end and then what I do is burn it till it catches fire. If you can see that, and then just push it up against the line like that. So now you've got a super, super neat knot with absolutely no kinks or humps or anything in it. And I've been doing this for 40 years and that does not come undone. So there's a close-up of the knot. Let me hold it straight like that. You can see where it's been burnt and pushed against it. This is 130 pound and that we, this way of doing it even goes through the eyes, even the smaller guides of the, the rods, the original rods without the big afcos. So yeah, I'll just turn it around. It's got no, no, nothing to catch on or anything. It's super smooth. It goes through the guides really easily. And that does not come undone at all. And that's one way of doing a 130 bimini, with which will go through all your guides easily. All right, so here's that again with some yellow line. Might be a bit more visible. Just pulling it tight a bit. And then I'm letting it wrap over. And then running my hand up. Keep my fin pinky finger in, or my index finger in there, and then I pinch it with my hand, go around both lines. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's make it seven, and then I come through between the lines where my finger is through, and then underneath the loop up, and then I pinch it next to the onto the wraps. And then what I do is I backwind tightly. One, two. Basically just backwinding all the line back. Which is like continuing in the bimini but below the below your loop. Now I just grab that in my teeth and pull it up and that locks it like that. And you can see you can see the lot has been pulled up tight. There's no double hitch, I mean uh, half hitch on either side on the legs, it's just straight through with a line pinch between there. What I do now is I'll just grab it with some long nose and just pull. And I pull pretty hard just to cinch that knot up completely. So as you can see there, that knot is cinched up properly. And then I'll cut that off. I'll cut that off basically as half a centimeter, centimeter from it. And now I'm going to burn it. So keeping it 
90 degrees. I just burned it with this little flamethrower. The moment it melts up like that, I just push it against the line. Like such. That one could have gone a little bit better. So that one was a little bit... It didn't quite... It'll torch away and you can see that's flash up against the... Uh, the line and that passes through your guides really easily yeah so now your bimini is done here's your bimini a double line and i put it through the wind on three times put the wind on through the loop pull it down till the loop comes through like that pull that loop out extend it Bring your wind on through, pull it, pull it up a bit, grab the line, pull it through between the wind on loop again, pull your line through, so you do that three times, and then make sure everything is all neat and stretched out, so that when you pull it tight it pulls up evenly. That one just didn't, okay, so I'm just going to stretch it out like that. Make sure it's all clean and neat and pulled up tight and then let that cinch down with a neat little knot like that. I don't know if you can see that. So that's your wind on attached with three three passes through the three catch ball passes through the, the bimini. And that's it. One of the other things just as a matter of interest, um, we don't fill our reels totally full because we've got Dacron backing underneath here. What happens when you fish with charter fishermen is that they tend to wind at bars and it touches the top of your reel. So, huh, I've got a hook up on my phone. Yeah, so keep your reels a bit more empty. You've got plenty. There's 1,200 meters on there. Yeah, I've been the homework. We should have done before yesterday. Getting all the stuff squared away again. This is my yearly tackle. Yeah, tackle afternoon screwing everything away and getting it back to standard again that's what happens after a year of not being here just getting everything sorted out like I wanted and doing a few lures for a friend of mine with some hook sets the homework that should be done before going to sea I like a spread of uh, TTs and Willabias for Charles there in Richards Bay all rigged, hook set probably rigged, pegged Ready for action. I'm just heading down to go and refuel. It's a lekker setup here. Stripped the pump today. Macerated pump. Fix that. Sorted out the curtain that was torn. Getting everything sorted out so we can have a trouble free fishing from now on. Like going up to diesel, guys are uh, these guys are going up to up to Pemba or Kirsten, having a chat in the other day. So uh, they moved out of the out of the way for us I think so we can get into the 